So welcome back to OOP series for PHP and in this episode we are going to learn about the type hinting system in OOPs. So let's see how we can do that. Let's create a new folder and a file. So I will say folder name is type hinting slash index.php and hit enter php tag make a class called book and here I will create a function function name is price the price of the book okay and I want to set the price so I will use a public price and here dollar this arrow price is equal to dollar price and this dollar price will come from here so price that's very nice and let's initiate this so I will say dollar book is equal to new book then book arrow price we have to set the price let's say the price is $20 and that's good and now I want to echo book arrow price okay so that's it so let's go to chrome and here I will say type hinting and yeah 20 is here that's very nice it's still very good suppose by mistake a user or someone has given instead of number he has given the string so I will say ABC so let's see what happened so refresh ABC but the price cannot be ABC or price cannot be string so what we have to do we have to type hint that means we have to give what is the type of this variable so let's hint the type so I will say here that should be always int that means the integer so when I now go refresh you can see it says uncaught type error that means type error that means price has to be integer and string given okay so let's get back to $20 and reload yeah 20 is here so this is actually the type hinting system you can even say here suppose you have a function again called authors so suppose a book has many authors so I will say names obviously if we are talking about the many authors then this should be a array type thing so now book and set authors so now if I get try to get the author so let's just do this dollar authors is equal names okay and then just initialize this authors and now let's get the authors here so authors and that's it let's go chrome reload it again say the type error that means the authors must be a type of array integer given yeah we have given the integer here let's give an name so I will say starter let's go refresh and again it says it is a string not an array so I have to do like this so then Angur reload and it says now array to string conversion that means we have to give here instead of echo let's say print underscore r and now it will work yeah so two array is here so this is the array type hinting one thing is more you can even type hint any object so now i will create a new file that file will be person.php and php tag then class of person and this will have a just a public function called names and this will just return this array so instead of getting array directly I want to get the array via this class okay so I have to include this class to use it in this file so include person that's good and now instead of this array I will say person so whatever the name will be that should be the instance of this person okay so I am giving this and now instead of this giving as a name as we have given like this not like this I am now going to get the authors 
is equal to new person and here I will pass the author's name okay so what I have done I am passing this function the instance of this person class this person class I have getting the instance and now in that instance I am passing through this author's function of this particular book class and now whatever will be the class that should be called as name so I think instead of name I will say person and here obviously I have to get give the function name so function name will be names so names okay so I am giving this instance here that means this instance is now accessed via this person variable and the person variable will call this names function of this person class and now if I echo this out I think I would have to print this R so print underscore R yeah that should be print R refresh and yeah we are getting these things so this means this Sarthak and Ankur coming from this person class going into this instance of the person and that instance is passing through this authors function of the book and authors function will passing that name to authors variable of this book function and which we are printing here so this is type hinting and very useful for minimizing the error and also customizing the error. so the error will be more descriptive when you use this and this will minimize your error handling time okay so we will meet in the next episode with some new cool feature till then if you have any doubt if you have any problem just feel free to message me comment me and email me don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye